previously in the goth condo. Dina Caliente proposed to Mortimer Goth, and they got married that very same day. Mortimer and his son Alexander moved into the Caliente condo, while Dina's twin sister Nina moved out. Dina's newfound security began falling apart when Mortimer's long-lost wife Bella unexpectedly returned to Pleasant View. His feelings for her soon became evident, and the relationship between him and his new wife became very shaky very quickly. Fight after fight ensued until Dina could take it no more. She went out on a date with Don Lothario, and after a session of risky couch woohoo, became pregnant with his child. While Dina was out, Mortimer invited Bella over, and they too indulged in a woohoo to ignite the flame they once had. With that out of their systems, Dina and Mortimer actually began to talk, and their relationship finally began to increase. But will it continue to do so after Dina starts to show? Will Mortimer realize that this baby isn't his? Or will Dina manage to pull the wool over his eyes and secure her place in the goth fortune for good? Hey all, and welcome back to Season 2 of my Let's Play Pleasant View series. Today, in Episode 16, we are going to be returning to the goth condo where Dina, Mortimer, and a quickly growing Alexander are awaiting us. The last we saw, Dina had just gotten pregnant with Don Lothario's baby, Mortimer had a fling with his long-lost wife, Bella, and Mort and Dina's relationship was just starting to crawl its way up into positive territory. But today, we're going to find out whether or not Dina is able to keep up the charade and fool Mortimer into believing this baby is his, or if he destroys her plans and boots her out for good. We're also going to see little Alexander grow into a teenager, and I can't wait to see who he takes after more, although something tells me it's going to be Mortimer. I can't wait, so let's get in there and start playing. And here we are, in the goth condo once again. When last we left the goths, they were all sleeping soundly in their beds. Or, in Mortimer's case, the couch. But now, the night sky has given way to the rising sun, and it's time for the household to wake. Today is a very special day. Today is the day that little Alexander becomes a teenager. An exciting time for him. But first, there's school. He hurries to ready himself for the big event later this evening, and soon enough, he's ready to go. But before he does, it happens. Dina receives her very first baby bump, and... Mortimer does not realize the baby isn't his. Dina has gotten away with it, 
she has pulled off this pregnancy, convinced Mortimer the baby is his, and has completely secured her place by his side and in his bank account for good. All with an illegitimate heir, no less. Dina, you're good. The bus arrives to whisk Alexander off to school and leaves his two now stabilized parents to their own devices. Since Dina is now showing, we are going to have to take some extra care to make sure her needs remain high. She fixes herself up a bowl of cereal. Perfect for Dina, no effort involved. Winning. She shovels it down and then waddles upstairs to relax in a nice, hot bubble bath. Meanwhile, Mortimer soaks his old bones in the rooftop hot tub. Soon, it's time for both of them to get out, and Mortimer heads out to pay the sky-high bills Dina has racked up for him. He then relaxes with Dina to watch some TV, but it isn't long before exhaustion sets in and Dina heads upstairs once again to catch some sleep before she's needed downstairs for a party renovation. Meanwhile, Mortimer grabs himself some leftovers and chows down. Shortly before Alexander arrives home from school, Dina drags herself out of bed, throws on some nice maternity clothes, and heads downstairs to meet up with Mortimer in the dining room. It's time to do a little decorating. Mortimer heads over to the phone and begins inviting over the guests. Nina, Cassandra, Darren, the Burbs, and yes, his mother Bella, are all asked to share Alexander's special day with him. And luckily, they all agree. Soon enough, they all start piling in, and the party begins. Oh, that's nasty. 
Bye, have a great time. Night has fallen, and it's time for Alexander to blow out his candles and grow into a teenager. We are immediately asked what his aspiration should be, and I am going to give him his hidden aspiration of fortune. And here he is. Honestly, I see a lot more of Bella in him than I thought. We also need to change those clothes. These threads are not Alexander at all. But we'll do that in the morning. For now, we're just going to let him enjoy the rest of his birthday with his loving family and many friends. <laughs> Late into the evening, the party ends on a very good note, and the guests begin piling out. It's time for Dina and Alexander to hit the sheets, but poor old Mortimer unfortunately has a little bit of a cleanup to do. Because it's already quite late, I use the set hour cheat to push back time a little bit, or else this poor man would have been cleaning up until around 6am. I didn't think of how this may mess up Dina's pregnancy times, but oh well, what's done is done. And soon enough, so is Mortimer. He heads upstairs, and for the first time in a long time, he's able to get into his marital bed and cuddle up with his wife, Dina. No more couch for Mortimer. (laughs) 
Soon enough, morning comes, and the whole family is feeling their oats. I guess it's safe to say that Mortimer and Dina are going to be doing just fine from now on. Another school day, and luckily for Alexander, Mortimer and Dina finish up on the couch before he has to pass them on his way to the bus. Mortimer makes some berry pie for himself and Dina for breakfast. And then it's time for them to start getting ready. In preparation for the baby's arrival, they've decided to head on over to Blue Water Village to pick themselves up a few nursery necessities. With Mortimer's simoleons, of course. Not that Mortimer minds. He's still under the impression that this baby is his. I wonder if things will start to change once that baby comes out looking like a little Don Lothario. Dina and Mortimer arrive at Inner Child Toys and Gifts, the shop of Marissa Bendette. While Mortimer amuses himself with some toys, Dina gets to work cramming her shopping bag full of expensive furnishings. Even the dollhouse isn't safe, not from mm. Dina's snaking arms. Mm. Mm. Of course, seeing as Marissa has oh, just purchased the shop, see. she is rather slow on the register, and Dina's temper starts slipping to the surface. Marissa thankfully finishes before Dina throws her things on the floor in a huff, and Dina ends up leaving the shop satisfied, while Mortimer trails behind a couple simoleons lighter.
Alexander arrives home just before Mortimer and Dina, and heads upstairs to get busy with his homework. After all his hard work, he's not going to let his grades start slipping now. Not if he wants to get into a good college anyway. His parents arrive shortly afterwards, and Dina heads upstairs to get right to work. And here it is, all finished. Although Dina may not be too happy with her bathroom being dismantled and replaced with baby things, she knows that soon enough she'll have it all back, and more. Appeased, she heads up to use the toiletries and take herself another relaxing bubble bath. Lovely, Mortimer. Just lovely. Before heading downstairs with Mortimer in tow, now famished from all her hard work. Mortimer whips them up some delicious homemade pizza, and they all partake as a family. During this time, Dina becomes best friends with Alexander, further cementing herself as a necessary addition to the goth family, while Mortimer becomes fat. Oops. As they've all had a pretty adventurous day today, they're ready to hit the blankets fairly early in the evening. And soon enough, the whole family has tucked themselves in and is snoozing away. Look at that look on Dina's face. She knows she's got him hooked now. Since they all fell asleep quite early, they all wake quite early as well. Dina heads right down to watch some television when... She goes into labor. It's coming and I cannot wait to see what they look like. Oh my gosh, she's an alien! Dina has just had a little alien baby! I cannot believe it, this completely changes everything. Not only would Mortimer never realize this is actually Don's baby, but now there's no way Dina can hide her alien heritage from the town anymore. As for the name, Dina decides to name her Agatha. Agatha Goth. She feels that has a nice ring to it. Well, Mortimer and Alexander are certainly pleased. And you know what? So am I. Let's get a closer look at little Agatha. Black hair and green eyes. She's Don's all right. And this is where we leave the goth condo today. 
Little Alexander aged into a teenager. Dina and Mortimer have secured their relationship. Dina became best friends with Alexander. And Dina gave birth to her little baby girl, Agatha. A very dysfunctional family indeed. But what else can you expect from the Goths? Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment for any questions or suggestions you might have. And subscribe to the channel if you want more juicy Sims 2 drama in your daily routine. Be sure to join me for episode 17 when we return to the goth condo for the final time this round. Now that Dina's had a baby that Mortimer fully believes is his, what will be her next move? Will aging Mortimer be able to see Agatha age into a teen or even a toddler? Check back in soon to find out. Until next time, guys. Bye.